<laughs> Good. Wait, I have little headphones, which I'm okay. going to try to use. Okay, so I have my big headphones here. Yeah, well, great. Well, it's it's so good to see you, and I'm excited that we get to like open our books finally. <laughs> I know. I'm really excited. Wait, I, now I got to take the headphones off because okay. I took the stuff in. <laughs> I've got my boxes here and a knife. Gosh, they give us a lot of books, don't they? I know. We've got a lot of books this time. I'm excited. I even found scissors in my house, which I don't usually have. <laughs> They're always the thing that's missing. I know you probably have 800 pair, but... All right, are we ready? Oh, look, yeah. you got a fancy, the uh, illustrator's oh, got the fancy well. exacto note. <laughs> yeah, of course. Watch of me course. slice my hand open. No, <laughs> what I think people don't know is that, you know, these books disappear for, you know, you turn them in and they disappear into the ether and then you get Yes, packages. and then all of a sudden. Yeah. Okay, we've got oh, packing. We got packing. You yeah. got packing? I have packing. Packing. Ah! One, two, two three. three. Yay! Yay! We did oh my it! God, that's beautiful. <laughs> oh, they turned out so great. They look so good. Wait, I've got to show. No, my favorite part is really the inside. The I went and show. Oh, the case. Yes. Show everybody. It's so cool. I know. Well, I love when they the case different from the jacket. When you get to have this different experience to to hold. Do you come up with that, or do they tell? Do they ask? Do they like? Suggest. I think they asked me what they what I wanted and if I would be up for trying that. And I said, of course, absolutely. Let's oh do a different gosh. case and a different jacket. So I think it's I think it's awesome. I think kids are gonna like it. So yeah, yeah. Oh, so I I mean look. <laughs> it's a book. <laughs> we did. Do you you've done so many more books than I have. Do you feel like like every time is this Christmas morning kind of feeling? Um, yeah, for different reasons, but yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, it, because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of that, um, well, just like you did it, you know, there it is. It's a real thing that you can hold in your hands and it does take so long. Yeah. You know, so it's like, sometimes you forget. I mean, I, like the first time I'll read this to a group of kids, I'll be like, oh yeah, that is page six. You know, like sometimes I even, you know, kind of am like surprised or like, like my own story and you know your illustrations like okay. better than I remember because it's yeah. been so long in between so well and you get um, some I think when you're making something you get really overexposed to it and you get tired and you don't have any distance and so you're able to come back when you turn something in that's the good right. thing about the one-year process is that turn it in come back to it a year later when you're holding it and it's like oh oh it's okay like I didn't do a terrible job it turned out okay so. no it was a great job except for remember for me it's like three years really wait wait so let's yeah. let's um let's back up a little bit because I don't think that people understand if we're sharing this with our fans that we've never met for one and then you didn't pick me explicitly like you didn't we didn't walk into Little Brown together and pitch this um so I would love to hear how you came up with this and the framework for it and then what it was like to get it into the hands of an editor at Little Brown. I would love to hear the beginning of the process because I have a totally different point of view. Okay. I was really looking for an adventure story, yeah. to, to write an adventure story. That was just something. That, and I really like when I can find, I mean, uh, people know or they don't know, I do a lot of biographies and I really like when I can find like a story with two or more characters in it. Um, and so I was looking for an adventure, like two people that went on an adventure together. That was just something that I was like looking for that partnership. It's just yeah, a really exciting that. thing. Yeah. It's just, a, it's okay. just, I don't know. It's, you know, like a partnership, you know, like, yeah. you know, but it really was. And, um, and I, you know, I wasn't finding anything. And then I saw, believe it or not, I had never seen the movie Titanic till like four years wow. ago. <laughs> <laughs> I know somehow I missed it. And, um, <laughs> I w watched it, and for some reason, I remember thinking, oh, James Cameron, oh, yeah, he went in the Mariana Trench. Huh. And then I went and looked up, like, that, like, an adventure in the ocean, yeah, like, what, who's been down there, you know, that, just that process of, you know, internet searching and whatever, and within, I can't even tell you, like, probably, like, seven clicks of a mouse. I saw the, this bathosphere and I went, well, what is that? And it yeah. really reminded me of when I was a little kid, there were these funky cartoons called like Diver Dan. Um, it was kind of like a clutch cargo under the sea kind of cartoon thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I don't know, something about the bathosphere like rang all those 
old little kid bells in my head. Just the look of it and the kind of the 1930s, like it was, I don't know it's if it's so deco you would know, but what yeah, is no, it? It's, it's so like, and yeah, it's like that industrial design, yeah. that real like 30s industrial kind of looking yeah. stuff. And so I just was like, well, what's this? And then there happened to be two guys who were in it. And I'm like, that's it. This is my story. That's so so cool. yeah, that's, it's kind of accidental. But Do you feel like it it wrote itself pretty easily once you had some framework, or was it like the worst, most you're laughing, the worst, hardest thing in the world? Yeah, um, it didn't write itself. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think or else I'm getting wow. The then I'm really getting overpaid, which <laughs> may or probably isn't happening to most of us. Um, no. Yeah, um, no, it didn't write itself. Um, the hardest thing about it, like the story itself, like I knew, like sometimes you're like kind of lost and like. Yeah. Well, is this even going to be a story? Whatever. I love the bathosphere right away. And I was like, I am making this somehow into a story. But what happened is William Beebe, Will Beebe, oh, the Will in the title, for anybody who know, uh, doesn't know, is um, that Will in that title is, um, I mean, I can't even tell you how many books, articles, there's so much information about him. And our Otis Barton and you, you probably already know this because you did your own research too. Yeah. There's like this much information yeah. about him. And yeah. it's, it's kind of funky and it's not real like solid information. It's just kind of out there. And, mm -hmm. um, and he can't really be found. I sent a number of letters out to like distant, what I thought might've been distant family members and I was kind of, and I never got answers back. And so I was kind of lost. And so that was the hardest part of it was trying to, um, like, what was this story when the information from the two characters was the, 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 what do you want to call that? The background, I guess, of them. I had so different, like, so, yeah, yeah just yeah. so, my information was so different. Yeah. So, but when it finally, like, kind of focused itself on, wait a minute, I don't care where they came from. They both did this cool thing together. Right. That it was like, okay, wait, no, no, we're just sticking in this little bowling ball in the sea. You know, that's yeah. what we're going to do. And, yeah. and then it, yeah, that helped a lot. That's a good way to put it, a bowling <laughs> ball in the sea. I feel yeah, like, I Will, thought of it. <laughs> yeah, well, Will and Otis described it as a pea on the end of a cobweb, but I think of it as much heavier than a pea, and I think a bowling ball is a great, yeah, it was just kind of like pounds. this, right, oh, can just you imagine, see. they got seasick at different points, like, they're in this little yeah. thing and I get seasick, like, literally, like, looking at the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> right. I so I would be reading some of these accounts and going, like, oh, yeah, hey, there's fish out the window. And yeah. we're turning around, you know. It's yeah. like, I also, like, locked myself. I, I, it was so cool when I got your um, illustrator's note um, when I first saw, like, the proofs and stuff that you guys, that you and your husband. Um, yeah put yourself in like, a, you put yourself in a little tent or so yeah. that you could like yeah. see what like the cramped space. I sat in a closet <laughs> in my office. Like oh, I could what? show you the closet and I yeah. crawled in there between a file cabinet or whatever. I'm like, all right, what is, I measured four feet yeah. and literally yeah. like rammed my, and I'm not six feet tall and they were. So yeah. I, you know, so I was like, wow, this is tight, tight. Like, yeah. how are we even gonna, you know, maneuver, manipulate around each other? So yeah. No. Um, it was just an amazing, that made it like a real, you know, the whole thing became like, wow, they really did go on an adventure. Yeah. You know? No, together. And, and that right. space really, I think for me too, like reading your line about how they're crawling in and over each other, you know, to get in there, slithering in and, and just tumbling. That came out down. of the closet. That yeah. was from the closet. <laughs> That's perfect. Anyway, so what's so it like for you, you know, as the author? I mean, I think that if I were an author sending out my manuscript and it gets placed and then you get assigned an illustrator, like there's got to be some tension there. You're nervous. Like, Gosh. did you, I don't know. No, I'm such a yeah. terrible artist. I'm always, this, I'm, I'm like so happy when most people say, I think people say, that. <laughs> <laughs> I found Good. someone to do it. No, Good. um, yeah, I just, because, you know, it might be, you might be looking at, I don't know, but you might look at that that way because you have both talent. You can, you're an author, illustrator, you have both, or you have that. I do not. Literally, my stick figures are on, you cannot tell if they're girls, boys, dogs, cat. Okay. No, okay. no art okay. ability. So for me, when I see what you guys bring to the table, not just that you or anybody who's illustrated any of my yeah. stories, I mean, I just am always, I used to work in an advertising agency many, many, many years ago. And I just was always in such, um, the way an artist thinks 
it just impresses me. And it's not just, I mean, I think a lot of people have the idea that it's just like, draw what's on the page. And it's not anything like, I mean, that's when it's not going real well. <laughs> you know, when it's going well, it's add this whole other layer or layers or 50 layers to this story that's on the page. And that's to me what I do not have the spatial ability to do. I could get lost in this office, like literally spatially, like <laughs> I could get lost, like, dim, like perspective. Oh no, no, we can, I can't go there at all. So, um, yeah. So I just think it's cool that, um, that people say yes. And that I've been paired with so many amazing people. And that's right. right. Well, I'm glad that you feel that way. Cause I think as the illustrator, you're, you're responding to a set of constraints, which is great because drawing is easier for me than writing. So having some boundaries around a story, which comes in the form of a manuscript, as opposed to having to come up with that part myself and then getting to respond to that directly, because drawing is like my handwriting, there's only sort of one way for me to do it. It just is just the way it is. People ask a lot about how'd you come up with your style? And it's like, no, no, Mark Siegel pointed this out to me at first second. He's the editor for a second and the founder of the imprint. Um, that when you feel like your drawing is like your handwriting, then you found your style. And I think that when presented with this book, there's only one way that I know how to do it. And so it's always a relief and a pleasure when people like what I've come up with, because it's the only solution that I have, you know, just, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, good. I don't have, so, like, sorry. Hope that, you like it. <laughs> like somebody else's work you need to hire that person um, right right you so know yeah. that's, a, that's a great way to look at because I think sometimes like I struggle with you know um you know people will say like well do you you know do you just write history in the form of biographies or do you just like there's just a way that I think right and right. I I wish I could like, you know, unfortunately Richard Peck died today. That's the day we're talking. You know, I wish I could do Richard. I can't do Richard Peck or, or yeah. any other millions of other people that I can't do, yeah. you know, and that's just, that is what it is. And that's how I write. You know, I just, I, you know, I, I know I have editors that are like, you use M dashes all the time and you don't know how to use a comma. I go, my sixth grade English teacher told me the same thing. You know, like I, I, I put M dashes everywhere. If you read my books, Neighborhood Sharks, How to Be an Elephant, they're all over the place. My husband's yeah. like, he's a copy editor. Will you stop him with the M dashes? I'm like, but that's how I think in my head. It's there's an aside. That's my saying then, it, yeah. right? <laughs> stop here for a second, yeah. longer than a comma. Yeah. Now let's go on. Yeah, <laughs> right? exactly. Yeah. That's what they that's, are. That's so funny. I actually have questions for you. Yeah, right. yeah, please. Let's talk um, about. I, what attracts you to a project? Cause you, like, oh, you've done what? Ele the ele um, how, how, to be an elephant. how to be an elephant is yep. your both written. And is this, the, this isn't the first book. What, like, how do you decide? Yeah, I'm going to do my own work and write it and illustrate it. And how do you get to the point where you're like, well, you know what I need to, I want to take on another, someone else's project and just do the yeah. illustration. Like, I think in a perfect world, and what we're trying to aim for really, is that I write and illustrate something, and then I illustrate something, and then I write and illustrate, and then I illustrate. Because I think that uh, I like I like being the captain of the ship and coming up with all the things and all the research, uh, but it's so tiring to do both, and, and it's so much easier for me to think visually, and that's where I start. For me, writing starts with drawing. Like I make little thumbnails to figure out how I'm going to compose the story and I structure around that and then I write in response to that. Um, so it's great when I have something to work with to start. Also, I never in a million years could have come up with this manuscript. So it's like for me when I'm looking for something that I'm going to illustrate. <laughs> no, I couldn't have. Um, it's, it's, it's a pleasure and a joy to find something that connects with me. You know, it's like two guys on an adventure in 1930. We get marine life. I mean, it, you couldn't find a better fit for me, really. Like adventure, natural world together, history. You know, it's just it's yeah. perfect for yeah. me. So, and I love that it's nonfiction and 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 that it's a picture book format. Um, yeah. And I think my interest in in this particular kind of story with adventure and the science um, started for me right after college. I worked on a boat on a tall ship teaching environmental oh. education. And that's where the interest that led to Neighborhood Sharks came from. And ultimately, you know, all the science books after that. And so, yeah, marine teaching and history combined with the adventure aspect is perfect. So when my agent, Stephen Barr, sent me this manuscript, it was like, 
I have to do this. Like, there's no question. Did you know about this before? Did you know? No, I didn't even know what a bad mystery was. I mean, I think I'd seen one. Yeah, you can. No, know, you know, and I read it and I started looking it up. I was like, oh, this is really cool. And there's archives for this so I can make it. Right. Weren't those wonderful? Oh, another shout out. Yes. Wild, yeah, wildlife, wildlife conservation. Stuff. Oh my gosh, at the Bronx yeah. Zoo, go to the Bronx Zoo, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. just, they, yes. that was amazing. There's like, and how many pictures of like their clothes and stuff? Wasn't that really cool? That they, I like love their it. clothes, their shoes, the, what the, the, the yeah. you know, the deck like crew. Like the leather wearing. converse. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah, I love, I love what yes. they're wearing in it. Yeah. And um, I love that, you know, Will poses with this little like leather satchel yeah. around his neck with his little pencil tucked in there. And it's, it was so great. So, so for me, yeah, I'm looking for something that's a good fit. And I've certainly turned down manuscripts, editors that I love and adore who I would love to work with who pitch me things. It's just like, this isn't quite right. I feel like. And is it because you don't feel like your style fits with that? Or you just like, don't like the story? Um, it's please more like, like and please don't no, 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 no. <laughs> it's more like the, the content or the subject matter just doesn't quite feel up my own. Yeah. Like it's, it's like really close. It's like a dress that you almost buy, but there's something you're just like, I'm just, I just yeah. don't think this is the right thing that I need. I need something right. different. If there's too much man-made around it, it's probably- You're not that interested. Well, how did you do that? And, and plus like, how did you do the, re like what is was your research like for the marine life or were you already so experienced that you didn't oh. have to like look up these fish? Oh, well I read, no, I read through Beeb's, um uh, journals, like the diary yeah. notes with right. Gloria that he took. Right. And I tried to cross-reference that with everything he had in a couple of his memoir books about it. And some of the species is just not very specific because he didn't know what it was at the time. Right. You can't really look it up. It's like brown right. squid. You're like, how many right. brown squid yeah. are there? Um, so I just did the best I can based on his descriptions, what I thought the species might be, some internet research, and then the archives had um, these plates that his assistants had drawn based on specimens that they'd pulled up and based on his descriptions. So looking at those plates, which, which have aged with yellow and had very sort of realistic drawings, I was trying to mimic that style a little bit, have it be a little bit yellowed, um, yeah. but be maybe the species that he was describing or at least something very close as best as I could approximate. Um, yeah. especially, especially in the back, the hatchet fish right here. Um, those yeah. are a lot like one of the drawings that he had made. Um, and this sort, the sawtooth eel was a lot like what he had. Um, this there was some amazing process. paintings. You know, those are, um, Thank you. I can't, yeah, they're, they're really, they're, it's just, they're really great. They're really it was, great. It was fun to get to do that too, because that feels more like the artifact from the dive, whereas the interior is me drawing my best representation of the two men and the story. But this feels more like something actually left over from it, you know, so. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. This, this is, is the why they were going down. This is yeah. actually what BB, this is what Will was into, was this yeah. part. Yeah, yeah, that part. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it was nice to have that, that, those two things going on. Yeah. So, yeah. I think you've sort of already answered this. Do you probably, like, I, I okay, are, are you still recording this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell me. I'm not sure I might want to say this out loud. Oh. Um, okay, no, do projects ever bog down for me? for you because I noticed that for me, like there's always a phase where I go, ah, I can't, like there's oh, always yeah. a quit phase, like quit or don't quit, quit or don't quit. Like, I really wanna quit, I really wanna quit. I don't like yeah. it, I'm never gonna be able to, and it, it, it happened right before I hit down, down into the deep. Like I could not, I was like, there's, so, I kept thinking of a different way to say they're going down. And I kept like, the early versions of this are hilarious because mm. I don't, they're nothing like what the book came out. Right, like, I know. Nothing. And so that it was like, it was like, then they went down and then they went down farther and, they went down, and <laughs> I they really went down. Like it was so bad. It was like, so then see, they went down, down, down and down and more down. And I'm like, what am I talking? <laughs> horrible. Well, that refrain you know? saved the manuscript, right? Like from your point right. of view, it was the only thing you could do to do it. You're like backed into a corner and you're like, ah, this is all I got. I'm like, that's it. I quit. How many times? All right. They went down yeah. the end. Okay. That's a two page yeah. book. Okay. Yeah. They went in, they went down. We're done. That's not a picture book, you know, like <laughs> something has to happen. And then all of a sudden I was like, well, 
what if I said down the same way every time? Like when yeah. they were going to go down anywhere, it was the same way. And I'm like, and I just kind of put all of those, that mess of downs <laughs> together yeah. into yeah, one thing right. downer and just went like down, down into the deep. And then it became like, then it was like, that almost structured the whole thing. For well, me. and I love visually too, you know, how the designer, Jen Keenan handled it going, getting smaller and like she made it a visual refrain in addition right. to a spoken refrain. Um, do, you always so space, do you always think of space for type? I've always wanted to ask an Oh, absolutely. From the very beginning. You have to. Really? Because, yeah, from the very beginning when I think about the thumbnail, um, I've even got some from my Mars book here, but I'll, I'll lay it out and it's like I leave a little lines like where the text is going to go. And then... And it has to. What if someone says, oh, wait, it's like you have four lines for text and the writer would like you know and we and the writer found this really great new piece of information so now the text is it's hard <laughs> well I, usually that doesn't happen usually well, I, yeah I, not I, 11 but. when i when i lay it out i make the font bigger than i think it's going to be and i make it take up more space so that there's room for that um, okay but, but definitely um like with this page i i knew that most of the text needed to go here but i was thinking from the beginning like how am i going to design a page that has enough information visually to convey what we need, but still allows room for this. And so like definitely from the beginning, it's a design constraint. It's not a problem, but it's just like a, a constraint to solve or a problem to solve, which is that it is the two things together. And I physically have to leave room in my pictures, but have them balance with whatever's there. And it needs to break up in a way that goes with each image and turns the pages. And, you know, and like, I remember having a really long conversation about whether the line, the bathosphere would go here, or if it would go here, and I really wanted it on the page turn. Me too. So, yeah. Oh, really? Oh, good. Because yes. sometimes I think I'm pushing for things, and it's like, no. maybe they're not telling me that Barb no. doesn't want it there. No, like, no. Okay. She said, no. In fact, I remember someone saying, don't you think you should go on the page before? I don't know if it was Deirdre or somebody. And I was yeah. like, no. It's so <laughs> don't you see, see the giant M dash? The giant M dash. <laughs> go. Of, yeah, this God. is one of those things where, like, because we're not talking, uh, right. and because the editor stays between us, which I think is... Yeah, it's good. Part, really good. I see it. I see it both ways. Yeah. 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 Um, but in this case, I, you know, I was just like, I want, cause I, we were, there's so much discussion around it. I was wondering if you didn't want it and they were trying to, you know, negotiate between yeah. us. Cause I was really I was pushing like, it's forward supposed to, to be forward. like, ta-da. The yeah. Yeah. And you can't, you can't ta-da if it's not yeah. there. Like yeah. I want I, the first time yeah, you look at is, it. Exactly. It be there. Exactly. You, you know, that big, you like, the atmosphere. Oh, and there, there it is. It's right. just like it, it, <laughs> that's the professional picture book author. <laughs> that's how I think of like, like page turns, like things like, oh no, that isn't going to work. You know, I have sound <laughs> effects for page turns in my head. Oh uh, yeah. Well, page turns are great because you can make so much happen between page turns. You can play with time. You can go forward and backward in time. But yeah, so this is a reveal to me and then a new establishing shot that it's right. made and here we are. So, but that, you know, was just, am I making room for more text here or the other page? That transition was really hard to figure out, but I definitely, to get back to your original question, I absolutely have to think about where text goes from the beginning because um, one of the things that makes me crazy with picture book layouts and design is when I feel like the text is too small or crammed or at the bottom. I feel like it should be visually integrated into the whole composition right. and everything should be really pleasing to look at. You know, so I, I also like for the reading for the read aloud part. Like I, yeah. you know, there's been a couple of times like I've been reading to you know a class or my own kids long ago or whatever, and I'm turning the page. And I'm like, wait, where's the next part? You know, like we're literally as a reader, yeah, I'm a little off. Like you can feel that little wait, and it kind of takes you out of the story. Like, wait, where's the next word? Like, yeah, and, yeah. Unless it's supposed to be like that because it's like a joke or something, right? It can really take you out of the story. You should be you able know, to find it. Right, you should be able to follow it and know yeah. what, what you're reading and like in, in a real information heavy book, like maybe the like sidebar should be pretty obviously that you don't have to read this if you're reading yeah. a story yeah. or, you know, and, and sometimes that gets a little too meshed together and it makes it difficult to do a yeah. read aloud. Yeah. So, no, that's a great question. Anyway, um, I want to know what was the hardest spread in Otis and Will. And well, why. this one tried to kill me for sure. Um, because of the perspective. There's so much going on. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, the perspective. We posed, my husband and I posed for a lot of these. Like I have some <laughs> funny pictures of me as a uh, T-Van here, John T-Van, yeah. holding a vacuum cleaner cord uh, <laughs> and, and standing in my studio. I think I've got like 
So they can take a picture and then use the picture for reference? Is that what? Yeah, Yeah. take five or six and then pick the one that I think works the best. Um, And also, so so this model I made in Google SketchUp so that I could figure how to turn it in space and I'd take a screenshot and drop it into my sketch and that way I didn't have to continue to draw this in perspective over and over again. But this ship too, I downloaded a model of a ship that someone else had made and put in some figures so that I could figure out exactly what angle I wanted because um, not only did I need to draw this ship covered in people in action, I need to make sure that nothing important happens in the center of the book because, you know, if you're, a, if you're a cinematographer, nothing folds your shot in half. But if you're an illustrator, you always have to think about what happens on the left, what happens on the right. How do we move our eye from the upper left-hand corner to the bottom right-hand corner? Because we read an image in the same direction that we read a story from left to right, from top to bottom. So make sure that the bathysphere falls on this side, because this is where your eye lands when you open it. And then the men are here. And then we kind of move through the scene this way and to have visual balance. So it's not all dark on one side or all light on one side, you know, just to have some action that kind of circulates and then also to put in little easter eggs of what everybody's doing right and make sure that i'm tagging my characters you know so that you can follow these green shorts and they're different from otis's green pants and here's gloria adjusting her headset you know testing out the sound system before she's then listening to them and the next you know, two, two pages, yeah two or three pages something. here whatever there's yeah right? <laughs> yeah so yeah. you know just like how can i introduce people who are never going to be named visually but still give them some character and a job and make them seem like the real right. people in the story so yeah this that's really what an tough. illustrator they're not right they're not illustrating this you guys don't illustrate the story you illustrate more than the story that's what they're called picture books that's well, pictures. <laughs> and you know that's that's a real difference between books that are being published now and books that came out 50 or 60 years ago is the drawings need to do some additional lifting it's right. not just that i'm mirroring exactly what you say your job is to say this one set of words and then my job is to support it with more information so i need to say more than i mean all you're saying is the bathysphere so if i just illustrated exactly what you said i would just draw bathysphere and nothing happening right right so right. i'm I've, I've got so much more that i can do i was telling uh somebody uh who doesn't usually write for visual stories who writes for adults the difference between saying something like henry got into the blue boat and sailed away the author doesn't need to do that if the artist is going to draw henry getting into the blue boat and sailing away the author can just say henry is having a sandwich And then my job can be to draw the blue boat. So I think that there's some trust there that the author has to let the illustrator have some writing room too, you know, and contribute something. But that's my job is like, what can I bring that's extra? So it's not just repeating what you're doing. So that together- a lot of times when people start writing picture books and especially, you know, if they come from longer form, they don't understand, like, you know, that they, that's a really hard thing to, um, for people to pick up on is that you don't, unless it's important that the boat is blue, no one cares. Like, move on. Like we only have, you know, this many words. Right. Let the illustrator make the boat any darn color unless, gosh, this needs to be a blue boat. (laughs) (laughs) Because it's called- Henry and the blue boat or something right, like that. Right, right. You know, well, and even then, I don't know that you And even say. then, it could be Henry and the... I mean, whatever. Unless the blue yeah. boat, like, you know, is the same color as the ocean and when it sinks. And there, there's got to be a reason for every word. And that's what I... Um, what I find, like... That's what I really love about doing this, to tell you the truth, is that I get... I will set and... Sometimes I don't have the time, but when I, when I have the time, I mean, I, like, people are like, well, how'd you come up with the words? I literally have gone through every single word. I know every variation of that word with that same meaning, everything around it, every word, every book, every time-ish. That's awesome. You know, yeah. because you kind of have to, like, I really, because you'll find a word and you can get rid of a whole sentence because of it. Like, it's like, oh no, that's the perfect, you know, it's yeah. tulip, not yeah. flower. Yeah. And if it's tulip, I don't have to say it's the yeah. spring because yeah. when else do tulips come out? So now yeah. I can take out that whole paragraph yeah. about where they're at and it's going to be spring, you know, because nobody cares if there is a tulip coming up. Yeah. I just told the whole story. And did you, you know? know that from the beginning or did you kind of learn that as you went? Because that's something that, like you said, people don't know when they first start. And I think it's a really important point that you just made. Did I know it from the beginning? No, I, so I am a down. short writer. I am okay. a short okay. writer. Like I, you know how you say like that you can only do what you do. Right. I, I don't know if it's coming from the advertising marketing background where it's like, here is a magazine ad. You have three words, get someone's attention. You know, that really is kind of, or like even videos, like even corporate videos or a commercial. Like I think of these as 32 page, 30 second, well, 
five minute right. commercials. Right. You know, like that's just how, and even though I don't, I can't story, well, I could storyboard, but I can't like, no one else would know what was on the page but me. Um, yeah. I don't, you know, I just think of them as commercial. Like I really do. I think of them in that same way, which is, you know, kind of get in, get out, move on. Mm -hmm. What's the most important focus here? Mm -hmm. Everything else has to go away, come back. Like there's gotta be parts. And usually those are the parts that do have a lot more words on the page where we kind of back up and let's give you some background. This is mm -hmm. why we're here. Mm -hmm. And then you come back and you might just focus on his belt. Mm -hmm. or the shorts or um the fact that you know what i don't know that the bathysphere's hatch blew off or whatever it is you know? <laughs> right there's so many things to put in this book that yeah. we didn't yeah and that we could you know at some point you can't i mean you know you've got to tell you know a story has shape and you've got to tell the story with shape and not every cool thing even though there's millions of cool things here that are like background for this book um you know they can't all fit in or we would have a 132 page picture book. Yeah, yeah, you know, no, for sure. sure. That that yeah. editing, that stripping down process. Yeah, it's important. just like every word is like exactly the right word. Um, the only other thing is if you want to talk for a little bit about, you have a bunch of cool projects coming out. Can you talk about any of them? <laughs> you do too. Hey, there's, a Mars, well, there's the Mars Rover and whatever. Yeah, else. I'm almost done with that. I'm turning it in soon. Um, and then I'm going to be doing about a reproductive biology book in the natural world called Making More. And that'll be about sort of genetics, evolution, crossing genes, how everything has parents, you know, your salad has parents, your, um, yeah, just everything, every living thing around you as parents uh, and, and, and explaining that and contextualizing that. I love that every single cell in our body shows that we're connected to every other living thing based on our DNA and, and telling, uh, talking about crossing genes in a way that's not just great health class, that's much more accessible and not taboo. I am terrified of this project and I don't know that I'm ever going to be able to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So, um, that'll well, be, far, I mean, how far, where are you at? What I've you restarted it multiple times, uh, because we sold it. At Welcome to everybody's world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I restarted it and, uh, we sold it at the same time as we sold how to be an elephant. And then oh, okay. uh, I got that book done. I had a baby in the middle of that. So that took a little while. Uh, and then we moved on to as the research, book. only as research, you only know. as research. That's right. I should be able to write <laughs> off my son's entire life yeah. for the sake of this. That's it. Look at um, this book. Yeah. <laughs> it's been 18 years. The IRS, look. <laughs> yeah. So that, and then I'm going to be doing a bear book, I think, as the next book that I write and draw that's animal based. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and I'm not sure after that, I would love to find another project. I love to work with you, as you know. Yeah, I know. Story. Vice versa. Um, so, but so I've much. decided to somehow write some sort of strange novel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll so I am 15,000 words into a brand new kind of thing. Um, That's a commitment. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a commitment. I just printed out 147 pages today, and now I have to figure out if they're really in logical, you know, are they really in the order that I think they're, you know, is yeah. the, are the scenes all happening the way I think they're yeah. happening? So, yeah, yeah wow. it's a different thing. What else are you working on right now? You just had uh, another book come out, right? I did. There was Bluegrass Boy came out in the Secret yeah. Kingdom this yeah. year. And then um, there's an, um, a book on Yogi Berra coming out um, cool. next year. Cool. Um, illustrated um, by Terry Widner. And mm -hmm. then there's, um, what else is going on? Oh, we have like, I have a biography about uh, Frank Lloyd Wright. Mm-hmm. And being a prairie boy and That's a little cool. Abigail Adams and I don't just all I kinds of stuff. Oh, how fun. Yeah. It's with Elizabeth Badley too, so I'm really excited. She's oh. doing a really she's doing a bang up job. There's all kinds of stuff going on, on the page, which is kind of what Abigail's life was all about, is like yeah. some big juggling act. So yeah. pretty cool that women were still juggling in the 1700s. You know, I think women have always been juggling. I was going to say, we <laughs> so, way more than we do now, I think. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. they actually were like scrubbing. Yeah, right. When's the last time you actually scrubbed a shirt on a washboard, for example? Right. Know? Right. No, and I had know. six kids, not one or two or three. And you're pregnant <laughs> and nursing. Right. <laughs> pregnant, just the six. nursing. Right, 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 right. And then everyone tells you you can't do anything ever. Right. <laughs> so it's kind of, yeah, that was, yeah. So um, the people who managed to uh, get through that and accomplish a great things despite it were pretty cool. So. Well, she's extraordinary and their marriage is so interesting too. The letters between her and her husband are great. And yeah, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, I'm excited to see what you do next. Yeah. And I think we're gonna run out of time for this, but we can yeah. keep talking. No, no.
no, no. Well, I'm, I think I've got enough. Um, okay. you know, I just realized I never hit a record button though. Oh, I have so it. Does that I mean have, if I'll you have it, you. then you can send it to me? Yep. And then I can, and I will write up what I need to write up from it. Okay. And it was great to talk to you. Yeah. And I'm so glad I finally, I never, ever, ever got to open a book with the illustrator song. Oh, yay. Well, I'm glad. And I'm so glad this all worked out. And they're just beautiful. Thank you for, thank they, you for this wonderful um, project. Thank you for your wonderful work. It's gorgeous. You're welcome. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. It's, exa- it's a better story with you <laughs> than it ever was before you. That's for sure. So thank you. Well, and everybody can go to their, bookstore or online you can get this anywhere books are sold and and buy it it comes out in a couple weeks